Uh, my name is Kevin. Uh, this is George's and Taco. We're doing a top 10 list of confirmed games <laughs> for E3. Right. Oh, so we basically we made a list of things, games that we are that, that have been announced already that are going to be at E3 most likely. And uh, we made a top 10 list of those, which ones we want to see most and which ones we're most excited about. So to kick it off, game number one is... Game number one is Destiny uh, Rise of Iron. Uh, That's his favorite, yeah, apparently. It's, it's his favorite one. Uh, the game has been uh, slightly teased, I believe. They, they yeah, were like been art. And they we, just, yeah. add, uh, they just uh, called for, how do you call it? They branded the the name. The name. So it's almost official Rise of Iron because Bungie just uh, took the name Rise of Iron. So we can expect announcement or before E3, but probably they'll do a video in the Sony show at E3. So right. really excited. Light level 350. Yay. Yeah, more light levels. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what we need. More light levels. Or yeah. So number nine is The Last Guardian. Uh, we've seen Last Guardian last year at E3. Yeah, we've seen it almost 10 years ago at E3. Yeah. Uh, we've been patiently <laughs> waiting. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a fucking while. Uh, we've been patiently waiting for the game. Uh, they've released like a uh, new gameplay like a week ago. Mm -hmm. And we're curious to see what, what, will, what they will do next. Yeah. Uh, what will be the date? Uh, when can we expect the game? Maybe there's more in the package. Maybe I'll do a uh, Ico Shadow of the Colossus HD. Another HD yeah. release. Uh, Maybe a PlayStation Neo version HD. I don't, don't know what I don't know what this is. PlayStation Neo. Is. No. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows about the PlayStation Neo. No. <laughs> it's a secret. Alright, so that is Last Guardian. Uh, going to talk about Titanfall 2. Uh, Titanfall was uh, Xbox exclusive. Yep. I uh, bought an Xbox One for it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, a lot of people did, I think. Uh, the only reason I got the Xbox One, together with Death Rising 3, but mm -hmm. it was one of the main reasons I got the Xbox. Um, yeah. Second part, we're gonna expect more Max. Yeah, it's good It's good to see the franchise come to PlayStation and uh, be on multiple platforms, hopefully PC as well. I, yeah. I assume so. And uh, for me, it's going to be cool just to see what more they can do with the feedback that they got from the first game. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the first game obviously got a lot of bad rap, I guess, for not having enough modes, not having enough stuff to do in the game. Online only. Online only, no story mode. Looking and look like Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the, but the rumors right now are that there's going to be more... There is going to be a story mode. Mm -hmm. And I just I'm curious to see what they... What they're going to do with the gameplay, which is a really, really solid as it was. So. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah, super fun game, and hopefully this next one will be even better. Yeah, let's see. More, more balanced as well. Yeah, because yeah, they had balanced. big maps in the first one, yeah. but then you had not enough players, or yeah, yeah exactly. The, the checkpoints were too far out, whatever. Exactly. Yeah, you you played like against a lot of bots. Mm -hmm. You were like, oh, I killed someone. And, oh no, it's a uh, AI, AI yeah. control. No points. No points for me. Yeah. All right, so, so Titanfall two. Yeah, next one on the list is Watch Dogs two. Uh, it has been rumored for like a few weeks, and yeah. Ubisoft recently dropped a teaser uh, today, actually, yeah, today. as of this recording today. Yeah. So. Uh, the teaser is like lame. It's just like a dude standing there with his phone. And like yeah, there's not a whole lot going on in, in the Pressing. trailer. So uh, I don't know. This is it's another case where the first game was not critically very well received. No. A lot of people did buy it, so that's obviously mm. why they're making a second one. But uh, I'm, I'm really curious to see what they've learned from the things that they did wrong in the first game, and hopefully can think of ways to improve on that and make it actually fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to, make so, it, to make it a game that's yeah, worth people want your to play. money and your yeah, time. <laughs> yeah. The, in the first game, uh, you didn't seem like that powerful, and you didn't seem like that uh, the dude that wants to punish people for doing the wrong things, and I want to see a more darker and more uh, powerful character in, in the second part. Hmm. Yeah. Final well, Fantasy VII remake, guys. Yep, it's happening. It's Finally. Happening. Yeah. Oh, it took 
took them some sweet time. It took them a long ass time. Yeah. And we finally, finally, finally get a remake. And to be honest, it didn't look too great for me. Well, uh, the remaster was like kind of disappointing on yep. the PS4 and it was like, okay, I'm not gonna buy this one. No, because it was basically the PC release. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the the remake looks a lot like Final Fantasy XV, mm-hmm. gameplay wise and graphics. Uh, I'm curious to see what they will do with with the IP, but I'm not that sure that it's like the right path. For, yeah, for, for me, Final Fantasy VII is just a turn based uh, RPG game, and this is completely different. This is Final Fantasy XV, and I do understand that a lot of people will not buy the same game again, looking just better. They have to improve gameplay and all kinds of stuff, of course. But um, I'm just curious to see what how they do that. Like, how do you keep the old fans of the franchise, of the older Final Fantasy hmm. uh, games, how do you still keep them interested in this new type of gameplay hmm. that hasn't been doing too well for them over the last couple of years, uh, last couple of Final Fantasy games? Like, yeah, more like, action based. They, they said it themselves. Like Final Fantasy 15 is like do or die. Yeah, they've put exactly. all their money in it. And they they've put all the trust in it. Yeah. And if Final Fantasy Fifteen fails to deliver, it, it could be like the end of the franchise. Yeah, possibly. And yeah. rightfully so. Yeah. The so world of Final Fantasy. Yeah. Well, it yeah, could also be good. Yeah, that could be really good. But I'm just I just really want to see how they keep the the uh, the things the essentials of Final Fantasy Seven, and that was mm-hmm. not just the characters, but also in a way the gameplay and the bosses and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And how they still keep that in this game. Mm-hmm. While still making it uh, more accessible to people who are only used to playing more action-oriented uh, games, so we'll, we'll, see. See. we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. I guess. We'll see. We'll see. Next one is one of my most favorite games, and it's uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Andromeda. Uh, Mass Effect was like totally crazy. Uh, I've never played the first part. And then I've heard about the second part when it came out, and I had to buy it. It was like, oh, this is fucking awesome. So I bought part one and part two and played them in, like straight. Mm. Completed them both and was I was sold. Sold on the whole franchise. Mm. Then Mass Effect 3 came out and it was like... Huge bummer. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it looked amazing. It, it, it was awesome. But the ending and like halfway through the game, the stakes weren't that high as they were in Mass Effect 2. Yeah. Mass Effect 2 was like, Agreed. okay, this is my team, and if I screw up, I will not be able to play with them in Mass Effect 3. Yeah. And then Mass Effect 3 came out, and I was like, man, 2 was way, way better than 3. Yeah. Um, I have high hopes for Andromeda, uh, but I also have, like, a lot of doubts. Mm. Yeah, sure. I think we can, uh, we should expect the same as with the third uh, installment of the series. When we uh, watched and stood in line at Gamescom for the third one, and we came out of the booth, we said it, go- it could go both ways. It could be great or it could fail. Yeah, it's, it's like a, that was the, the the feeling we had after seeing it for the first time. Yeah, it could be like totally amazing hmm. or like totally shit. Yep, it's one or, one or two. There's nothing in between. Mm-hmm. That was probably all we needed to talk about Mass Effect. Yeah, okay. yep. if, it's, for if it's bad, they will rename it to Ass Effect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah the Ass Effect. <laughs> probably so. <laughs> Mass Effect into the black hole. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, next one on the list, Tekken Seven. Tekken, yeah. yeah. Uh, Tekken. We, we know it's coming. We've seen like a shitload of gameplay. Yeah. Uh, there are tournaments are going on right now. Uh, people are talking about the game. Uh, yeah. There isn't much to say about Tekken. Not a whole lot. I mean, Tekken's always been really solid, and yeah. it's always appealed to casual players as well, instead of just mm. the fighting game uh, fanatics, yeah. Yeah, enthousi- yeah, enthusiasts. Um, but uh, this one, I don't know. There's been a lot of uh, uh, talk coming from Japan, of course, where the game is already more or less released in arcades, mm. the, yeah. more or less the, the full version. And they're, they're in American arcades as well, right? Uh, they're doing tours. Yeah. They're doing tours across the country, I think. And... Um, uh, I, the the feedback so far has been pretty good. Yeah. I mean, the, aside from Akuma being in, which is really really cool, mm. uh, he just <laughs> doesn't like, he just doesn't seem to be a very good character. But um, aside from that, uh, I mean, everything that they've put in the game so far seems really really interesting. 
Hmm. And uh, yeah, they've made like a few pre- poor character choices. Yeah, maybe of course, but that's a few characters. It's not a big deal for no. the game. But the the main question I have for the Z three is when will it come out? When will mm-hmm. we see it? What are all the extras going to be that we're going to get? Yeah, it's we, getting VR support. Arcade. Yeah, exactly. What is that going to be? Well, yeah. What is what is that going to be? You you have to break down so like Eddie. No oh, problem. Do Capoeira stuff. Problem. Yeah. Uh, next game on the list is uh, Kui Tecmo and Team Ninja's uh, Neo. Uh, we've played the demo a few weeks back. Not PlayStation Neo. No, not PlayStation. We don't know about PlayStation. No, no. There's, there's no, no. There's no such thing as PlayStation. Ni dash o. Ni dash o. Ni dash o. It's it's like a a samurai inspired Sengoku era uh, Dark Souls, uh, with less interesting characters, but more interesting gameplay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The the first part of the demo took me like an hour to to get past. Mm-hmm. You, you can choose between stances for your samurai swords. Uh, you can do a lot of amazing stuff. You have like summons. Mm-hmm. You can summon uh, spirits and stuff. Cool. Uh, looks amazing, uh, but it's the same thing as with, with a lot of other games we, we've uh, talked about in the past few minutes. It's do or die. Yep. The game could be like totally awesome and uh, people that are playing Dark Souls and are loving Dark Souls uh, will be like totally excited, mm-hmm. or they'll they'll treat it like shit and mm. just wait for Dark Souls DLC. Yeah, I think it will go the. To the uh, I think it will it'll go to the bright side of the perspective because if you look at Asia, they also adopted the uh, Dark Souls and the uh, Bloodborne franchises very well. It's um, they they are both more American or European. Western, feeling games, Western, Western, yeah, Western. instead of yeah. Japanese. So I think we could do very well with Neo as well over here, instead of just an Asian. And let's be honest, the, the main character looks a lot like uh, The Witcher. Yeah, yeah, he does. He's like very true. Like the Witcher. Yep, he's awesome. Uh, next game on the list is Resident Evil Seven. Uh, Capcom has like le- dropped the bomb. Leaked the, the bomb. bomb. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not much to say about Resident Evil. Resident Evil 1 and 2 were like awesome it was great it got less great got great again with Resident Evil 4 mm. and then very not great Resident so, Evil Revelations was cool Revelations was cool but the the, the thing that made the 1 and 2 were really solid games 3 was okay I guess and then they made the step to not counting the other games that came yeah, game, but mostly not Zero not and Zero and that crap yeah exactly not that crap just the, the decent games in, in that era and then they went to 3D with the behind the shoulder camera. And that was amazing. And then somehow they dropped the ball. Like the next two games, five was all right, but not too interesting. It was kind of the same. I don't know. They lost a lot of attention. Yeah. And then six was just. Yeah. <laughs> six was six. That was such a forgettable The logo looks like it. It does. Yes. Yes, the, the logo is here. So hopefully they said that they're going back to the old Resident Evil. Yeah, but they're saying that in like a way few years. They have. They're going back to basic. But for some reason, I think I kind of have. Yeah, they might actually pull it off this time. Of the yeah, they have to get it right at least once. They have to get it right. Three or four times. They have to get it right eventually. So I mean, the last couple games I don't think have sold very well. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't think they did. Not, not exactly. Well. And let's not forget, they're bringing out Umbrella Corps this June. Yeah, like third-person shooter. Yeah, trash probably. <gasps> Operation <laughs> Raccoon City. Yeah, my God, that game was like, I, I have no words for it. Yeah. So hopefully this one's it's better. Nice yeah. If they if they stick to their word, this might actually be another good Resident Evil game. I hope so. I hope they show us some gameplay that they can convince us all that Resident Evil is a franchise we want to play again. Yeah. Because I, I loved the franchise, like yeah. in the beginning, yeah. it was like totally amazing. Yeah, I, I think it goes the same for finals for what we said about Final Fantasy. Uh, it's do or die. Yeah, yeah, how do they keep a new iteration and franchise fresh for people who've been playing it from the beginning? And yeah. also, we, uh, we shouldn't forget that when you make a, a game, the first or the, the first couple of ver- versions, they're always this. St- they tend to be the better ones in the series because they are fresher and 
you know, stuff, not, stuff, not is, all, not stuff is more new. Once and you, keep, you, once you start it. making sequel after sequel after sequel, yeah, it's it's hard to it's, keep fresh and get new exactly. ideas and new gameplay. Yeah, there, there are like a lot of franchises that that fit your description, mm-hmm. like Assassin's Creed. They mm-hmm. were like, woo. yeah, but, but Resident Evil One is also uh, one of the things that will stick to me forever in gaming uh, history. The the first time. Uh, uh, the liquor is introduced in the game when he falls off the ceiling. Right. I will never forget that scene. <laughs> so that's it's very hard for a developer to get uh, uh, in every new game you make in every new version to get some of those moments again yep. that people will remember forever. It's really hard to do. So I think with four they did a great job. And then yeah, you 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 uh, you really need talented people like in the Uncharted series. To keep it fresh, to keep it going. Yeah, for real. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the last one on our list is uh, Telltale's Batman. I'm a huge fan of Telltale game series. I've played all of them except for Minecraft because I absolutely hate Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Don't say that. You should. Yeah. <laughs> it's trash. No words for that game. <laughs> at, uh, least, at least 100 million people like yeah, Minecraft. 100 million Don't people. Don't forget it. True. And like all the other billions of people hate it. Um, <laughs> they've introduced a Marvel version as well, and they, they're going to do a Batman version. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be a lot like uh, The Wolf Among Us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That game was like awesome. Walking Dead. The Walking, like Walking Dead was amazing as well. Yeah. But not all Wolf of their Wolf. games are like totally awesome. True. They, they've made Jurassic Park. Back to the Future, yep. Hmm. Um, Game of Thrones, yeah. I didn't like that one. No. Uh, so I'm hoping this this new Batman game will be like, it's going to blow my mind. Um, I'm hoping for a more detective approach on it mm-hmm. that would suit the the franchise and yeah, the and series. Action based. Yeah. yeah. So I don't want to punch people. I just want to like figure out why s- someone did something. You want it to be a smarter game. Yeah. I, I w- what what I really want is like the Joker and Batman, and he has to figure out. He doesn't know who the Joker is, and he has to figure it out. Hmm. That's what I want. Okay. But what I I'm hoping for is just like game of the year. <laughs> yeah, of course. It might be. It might be. And I I think they will do something fresh with the Batman franchise because if you look, the Wolf Among Us was something completely new. Yeah. And uh, all of the other. Uh, uh, games they made, you already knew the backstory, but it's it still was interesting. You knew the Walking yeah, Dead, you, you knew Game you, of you Thrones. Knew, you knew the backstory of the Wolf Among Us because not uh, everybody did. I not think everybody most did. Of the people but didn't. You, but if you read the Fables comics, yeah, yeah, that's you didn't know a lot of things, or at least hmm. you didn't know the characters. Uh, and not everybody knows Batman. No, that's not true. I think <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone knows Batman. Batman. I think everyone everybody knows, knows who he is. Hmm. Yeah, but. That's all do they know right? Batman? Uh, Maybe they do a Batman L.A. Noir crossover. Oh God. Batman L.A. <laughs> Noir slash uh, uh, oh God, what's the Sony game? Sony game. Uh, um, Heavy Rain. Heavy, Heavy Rain, Rain across. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they should. Oh they God, should God. just infuse the shit out of it. <laughs> Put the cartoon style over. Game of the Year for Kevin. Yeah, probably. 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 Yeah. <laughs> right. I love Heavy Rain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so let us know in the comments below uh, what you think about our, our list, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So here or here or here or no, it's not up here. top. It's down there somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere down there, oh, somewhere. Uh, follow us on Twitter. It's uh, Game Geeks underscore Media. Uh, like our Facebook page. Uh, join the website. Subscribe to YouTube channel. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Uh, there are a lot of things you can follow us on. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. See you next time. See you.